Hi, I'm Josh. I'm from King's Manor's High School and we're here at Simon Anker's studio to talk to Simon about the design industry. Let's go have a chat. Simon, what's your role here at Simon Anker's studio? So I'm the, um, well, the owner um, between myself and my wife. We run the, the practice and I also have a, um, a casual employee. So my role is uh, designing and making and coordinating. Um, yeah, it keeps me pretty busy. What does a typical day look like? Every day is different. It, yeah, I, I think uh, yeah, no day is typical um, apart from arriving, pulling up the roller door, stoking the fire in winter time and kind of um, assessing what there is to do. Uh, it could be a mix of uh, finishing or fabricating or uh, organising, packing and wrapping. Um, and on the, uh, the odd day, actually having a really dedicated design day, which is, which is great and model making and stuff. So it's pretty, um, pretty different and um, I think that's what keeps me stimulated. What's your favourite part of being a designer? I love the challenges. So the, the challenges from meeting a, a particular client's brief. Um, often there's a budget, budgetary constraint, uh, material um, strength or weakness that you've got to overcome. Um, time, every, every stage of the design process, there's a, a little challenge. Um, to overcome and, and sort of execute. What are some of the opportunities and benefits of the industry people don't realise? Look, I think it's about being observant um, and really taking, taking note of your surroundings and um, seeing opportunities that, that might not be presenting. So if you're observant, you can, you can see an opportunity and then, and then make a beeline for it and, and tap into the um, little niches that exist that, that others are, are missing. And so that's, there's plenty of those opportunities. What experience in education do you have? I've got, uh, I've got quite a bit of experience from being uh, a student uh, for many years. I've done uh, three degrees. So um, I studied at the art school down in, in Hobart, Hunter Street, and did a, um, a Bachelor of Fine Arts and then majored in honours as well, focusing on furniture design. Um, I came up to Launceston and studied at the School of Architecture and Design and uh, did the Bachelor of Environmental Design and halfway through the um, Bachelor of Architecture which is now the Masters of Architecture uh, but that coincided with getting a full-time job uh, running the furniture program at the university so having it from student but also then from teaching in, um, in the university as well which I've done for 10 years. What got you interested in designing in the first place? I come from a family of designers and architects and, um, and artists, so I, I guess it was in the blood a little, in a little way. Um, and being supported to um, pursue those um, interests and encouraged um, probably led me down the path I've, I've taken. Hmm. Who's suited to something like this? Uh, anyone who's uh, positive and has a, a sort of a can-do attitude, um, isn't afraid of making mistakes because um, you'll make plenty of mistakes being a designer and, and it's sort of the way you come up with the, your best designs is actually through realising um, where you may have assumed certain things and then having that desire to actually um, correct that or write that or, or be um, persevere with your inquiry and, um, and research. So really anyone who, who has a bit of desire to, um, to create and, and you know, forge a bit of a a career or, or run their own race in a way. Mm. For someone wanting to get into the design industry, what pathway should they follow? Just maturing and growing and, and taking on life experience because when you come into design, it's those, those life experiences and um, that you reflect on and they help you actually design uh, in a better way and more meaningful ways and I think they make you a lot more observant. So. Tap into as many experiences as, as you possibly can um, in, in separate skill sets and then you kind of um, blend all that together and, it, and it's that sort of body of knowledge and that base knowledge that sets you up in a really strong way. Thanks Simon, so it's been great to get an insight into the design industry. Hopefully it gives students a better idea of what to expect and what pathways to follow.